everyone. So today I'm going to show you how you can easily crop a complete sheet of stickers in Procreate. Now, in order to do this, your sticker sheet needs to be an image. So it can be either a JPEG or a PNG, um, whichever you prefer. Uh, I prefer PNG because that enables me to have a transparent background. Um, I have a tutorial on how you can convert a PDF into a PNG, so I will link to that in the video description. But for this tutorial, I'm just going to assume that you have already done that step and your stickers are already in an image format. So first, I'm just going to bring in some stickers. Um, I'm going to do it on top of my weekly calendar for this week um, because I'm going to use some of these stickers this week. So I'm just going to go here to my wrench tool and then I'm going to bring them in from my iCloud Drive. Okay, so these are my October stickers that are available for free on my website. I'll link to these in the video description. And um, as you can see, it's a complete sheet, but I have it saved as a PNG. There's a transparent background, so these will be very easy for me to use. So I brought it in, and when I brought it in, it put it on its own layer. So I want to make sure that that layer is selected, and I believe I'm going to use the sticker that says sweater weather and I'm also gonna use the sticker that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. So in order to crop those stickers and get them away from the sheet, um, there's a couple different ways that you can do this but I'm going to show you what I believe is the easiest way. So first I want to get the sweater weather sticker. So I'm going to make sure my sticker layer is selected which it is and then I'm going to come up here to this ribbon and I'm just going to draw a circle, kind of a funky circle oval type shape around sweater weather. And now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select duplicate contents. So now when I go to my layers, you'll see that sweater weather is right there on its very own layer. Um, so now before I get rid of this entire sheet of stickers, I want to crop that other sticker. So I'm just going to go back to that layer. I'm going to select it. And now I know it's selected because it's highlighted in blue. I'm going to go back to the ribbon. And again, I'm just going to draw a shape around the sticker that I want to use. And when you're doing this, um, by the way, you'll want to make sure freehand is selected down here. I believe that's automatically what is selected when you hit that ribbon. So I've drawn my shape around it. And now I'm just going to hit duplicate contents. So now that is on its own layer as well. And now I can completely delete my sticker layer since I don't need any more stickers from it. And I'm left with these two stickers and they're on their own layer so I can move them around freely. So this sticker um, I'm going to put here. And then this other sticker, I'm just going to hide that sticker for now because I'm not sure where I'm going to place it. So anyway, that's how you do it. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions at all. I'm happy to help. And make sure you subscribe to my channel for more digital planning tutorials, Procreate tutorials, and digital plan with me videos. And check out my website, naptimealt.com, where there's tons of planner-related freebies, including these stickers that you can download now.